assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to my channel today we are diving into an exciting topic the digestive system have you ever wondered what happens to the food you eat how does your body turn it into energy well in this video we will explore the parts and functions of the digestive system which is like a super smart factory inside your body let's begin by understanding what the digestive system is and why it's so important for our health get ready to learn something amazing the digestive system 4.1 parts and functions of the digestive system the human digestive system your body needs food to help it grow food also gives you energy but your body cannot use the food you eat just as it is food has to be changed so that it can be used by the body The digestive system changes food by breaking it down into tiny particles. This process is called digestion. The stomach and small intestine digest the food. They are the main organs of the digestive system. The mouth also digests some foods. Digested food particles pass from the small intestine into the blood and are carried to all parts of the body. Now let's take a look at this amazing picture of the human digestive system. It shows us the different parts of the system and how they work together to process the food we eat. The digestion starts in the mouth. Your teeth chew and chop up the food into smaller pieces that we can swallow. Saliva makes the food moist, which also makes swallowing easy. Digestive juices in saliva start to digest the food. The food we swallow is pushed down a tube called the esophagus and into the stomach. The muscles of the esophagus contract the, to squeeze and push the food downwards. Inside the stomach, the food mixes with digestive juices that turn the food into a thick liquid similar to porridge. The small intestine breaks down the food even more until the food particles are small enough to move into the blood. any undigested bits of food that our body can't use move into the large intestine the large intestine also absorbs water and some substances back into the blood the solid undigested food bits are pushed out of the body as waste through the open end of the large intestine called the anus so the conclusion is that food is chewed and swallowed moves through the esophagus to the stomach for digestion Nutrients are absorbed in the small intestine, water is absorbed in the large intestine, and waste is expelled through the anus. Now it's question answer time. Here's your question number 1. Why do we need food to give us energy and nutrients? Why must food be digested? To break food into tiny pieces our body can use. How does the mouth help digestion? Chewing and saliva start breaking down food. What is the name of the tube that joins the mouth to the stomach? Esophagus. What is the stomach's function in digestion? It churns food and breaks down proteins. Which part of the digestive system removes undigested waste? Large intestine. How does the digested food reach all parts of the body? Nutrients are absorbed into the blood stream from the small intestine. Now that we have learned about the human digestive system, let's explore how the digestive system works in other animals. Digestive systems of other animals. Many vertebrates have a similar digestive system to ours. The pictures show the digestive system of a rabbit and a cat. Now let's move to the question number section question answer section in these questions we will look at the digestive system of animals in the picture and figure out which parts are the same as the human digestive system question number 1 which parts of the animal digestive system in the picture are the same as the human digestive system esophagus both animals and humans have an esophagus stomach both have a stomach small intestine 
both have a small intestine. Large intestine, both have a large intestine. Question number two. Compare the following parts of the cat and rabbit digestive system. So here we are going to compare the digestive system of a cat and a rabbit. Take a close look at the picture carefully. Part A, oesophagus. Both cats and rabbits have an oesophagus. Part B, stomach. Cats have a simple, single-chambered stomach. Rabbits have a larger, more complex stomach for plant digestion. Small intestine. Both have a small intestine, but the rabbit's is longer. D, large intestine. Rabbits have a large cecum for fermentation. Cats have a smaller large intestine without extensive fermentation. Question number three. In which animal do you think digestion takes longer? Say why. Rabbit. Digestion takes longer because they need to break down fibrous plant material through fermentation. Question number four. Why do you think that digestive system of the cat and rabbit are different in some ways? Dietary differences, cats are carnivores, so their system is designed for meat. Rabbits are herbivores, requiring a more complex system to digest plants. In conclusion, the digestive systems of different animals are uniquely designed based on their diets. While cats and rabbits share some similarities with the human digestive system, they also have special adaptation to process their specific types of food. I hope you enjoyed learning about the digestive systems of both humans and animals today. Don't forget to take care of your own digestive system by eating healthy and staying hydrated. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.